put you out here. Yeah. Wait, how do you do it? You yeah. hear? Wow guys, it's been a while, a straight up while. <laughs> um, it is, what day is it? What's going on here? My hair is a mess, I am just a mess. It is Monday. Um, I have no idea what time it is. I think it's like 4 p.m. And I was sitting on the ground, rolling around with freckles, making out with her, and um, something from the Fry Life popped up on my phone, like probably a video that um, they posted or something, and it reminded me that it's been a really, really long time since I've recorded anything. Um, I've been, as you know, my last one of my last videos, I just wanted to take a step back and really focus on my life and not focus on my illnesses. I am a person who has chronic illness, but the chronic illness is not me. And that's where I needed to do like the correction in my life. And I felt like if you make videos every day about your chronic illness, it's like that is who you are and that's not who I wanna be. And I don't think it is who anyone is who deal with chronic illness. And um, I also have not been posting on Instagram. I think I've posted three times since like the past two months, um, <clears throat> give or take. And, um, like, I don't even watch YouTube vi videos. Um, Fry Life, I think it's been about two months since I've watched their videos. I tried to watch one night, and I think I got through half of one of the videos. So, I'm just really behind on everything, but it's nice. So, I just decided, you know what, let me pick up the camera and just say hi and kind of give you guys a scoop into my life of what's been happening, what has not been happening, any new changes, um, and stuff like that. So I hope you guys are all having a great Monday and uh, see you guys just in a little bit. Who's that pretty boy? You're so handsome. Yes, you are. And I'm freckles. And did not lose my camera. So yesterday um, was Sunday and I woke up, oh man, I broke this. I woke up completely fine and about five minutes into being awake, um, I'm still doing good. I'm feeding the animals. Um, it's about now 15 minutes into being awake and it felt like a ton of bricks were hanging from both my eyelids kind of like taking Benadryl um, AM and or say Benadryl PM and taking it during the AM so you are completely knocked out. I could not stay awake. My narcolepsy took over my whole life. So I basically went to sleep, sleep blah, 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 went to sleep at 2 about 2 AM um, Saturday like you know morning technically um, and no, I should say Saturday night into Sunday morning. And then when I woke up Sunday, like I said, I was fine and I couldn't stay awake. Um, I found myself passed out on my uh, couch from, I think I woke up at around 8.30. So uh, 2 o'clock in the morning to 8.30 was my sleep time. I then went to sleep probably... I don't even know. We'll just say by 9.30, I was knocked out cold. I did not wake up till 5.45 p.m. I slept legitimately all day. Um, I remember waking up once to go to the bathroom, but when I tried to get up to go to the bathroom, I couldn't move. My legs were so weak. Um, I had to text my dad to come meet me downstairs to lift me off the couch to bring me to the bathroom. And then he had to wait for me on the other side of the um, the door to help me like out of the bathroom and then back to the couch um, he needed some help 
um, with some questions about my nonprofit and things he didn't know. So he kept saying, Sarah, he literally couldn't wake me up. But eventually he got me up. And the more he woke me up, the more I, my body stayed awake. Um, so by, like I said, by 6 o'clock, I was, I think, for the most part, awake. Um, but I was still tired in a sense. So that was my day yesterday. Um, sometime yesterday, I also started having a really high heart rate of 149, which I will post the photo now. And that um, ended with me standing on my own two feet and then collapsing and eating dirt when I went outside. So that sucked. Mm, I'm just in a weird mood today. A little bit of depression going on, but I'm going to start and finish making my dinner. I haven't ate in three days for the most part. Uh, I'm going to make some chicken curry wraps. I used to make them once a week in Florida. Made them a couple times since I moved back here and kind of just stopped. But that's mainly because my uh, rice maker broke and I got a new one. So I'm going to start using it again. Rice check. Simmering check. Chai tea check. So this is my food. Um, I realized I didn't have any more of like the the lettuce boats or whatever um but um yeah and then i actually added bits of potatoes and chickpeas which are right there and then of course curry and jasmine rice and some chai latte tea gizmo you hungry you're just gonna look at my food so last wednesday marked one month with my port which by the way i am not access this is what it looks like you know weird light i can't get the light perfect but whatever so that appears the incision and then yeah whatever so um i've had issues with it um bleeding i've been poked more than once just to get it accessed so i'm still having issues with it um as if i was having a peripheral line which is crazy um, I do have a new doctor. Um, I no longer work with a doctor who has given me infusions through my peripheral IV. So I'm now using the doctor who, I'm not sure if he created or if he was part of the creation of the tool table test, a cardiologist who was now doing the, um, infusions and who was the one who suggested getting the port, um, and put the order in. And uh, so after my port, I got my new supplies and everything. And um, the second week of supplies, because there was a mistake with my supplies and just stuff I needed. I had, you know, I did some research on things that may work for me and kind of test drive certain things like needles and all and sizes. And the second round, they're like, hey, so by the way, your doctor, this particular doctor, um, has you down for three um, bags of saline a week not two unlike the first doctor so i'm like oh they're like now it says as needed so like if you get if you have the three for the week and you only need one or if you only need two or three then so be it and then just you know use the extra bags into next week or after expiration and just throw them away so that was new so i'm actually infusing three times a week um it took a little bit to find the correct needle. We found the right length right away, but I've been through three different style needles or Huber needles and I kept bleeding bad. And so we finally figured out which one is best. I think it's the one I just had in I, uh, yeah. Um, also, uh, I basically have had issues with my, so they switched up my nurse, my year and a half nurse. Um, they decided to not tell me they took her away um, like right before my port um, and so anyway long story short it was a huge mess I had many nurses come in and out here come in and out of the house I basically called them and said I don't like her I don't want this person this that and the other there was reasons for it that I'm not gonna go into detail about um, because like I said, I don't want to just go and talk about any and every and all things about my life. I'm just not going to do it anymore. Um, but there were reasons and 
I'm now down to another nurse who I, is supposed to be my regular nurse. I've only seen her twice so far, and which is weird. I should have seen her four times plus since it's been a month. But um, uh, what was I saying? We've had some issues with certain things, but we uh, um, we got the correct Huber line, and they did teach me how to um, uh, deaccess. So that when I'm like bleeding, I can take it out and I don't have to wait for someone to come if it's going to take hours. Plus, if I, you know, it's summertime, if I want to go in the, the water, I can just take out, you know, the line or the, the needle. Um, they said that they're going to teach me how to access my port as well, even though my first nurse was like, we don't do that. Da -da 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 -da, and just all this crap drama. And I'm like, BS. And it was all BS. Um, but they have to get an order for my doctor, which is fine. And, um, they wanted to wait till I was completely healed. So did I, cause it was painful. Um, I might have a, a story time about the port and my experience, even though I kind of feel like I already did one. Well, any hoot, I'm probably going to watch some Netflix, um, which I guess I have been doing. I've been doing some paperwork too and have a little bit of ice pops or whatever you want to call them. And uh, that's really it for tonight. Let's just say I forgot to end my live last night and it's the next morning and I look like crap. So let me get ready for my nurse and for you guys. Breakfast. Sterile things, I'll keep them here. And I'm ready for my nurse. So my nurse, or a nurse, just left. Um, she had actually hurt, and like I was more in shock because it doesn't hurt anymore to get a line in. But she did change this from six hours to four hours because now you can go at a higher speed, which is really nice. I'm done, and I'm eating what I made for dinner last night for my lunch now i'm actually hungry much early it's like 12. i normally don't eat till like two three o'clock most of the time uh i don't know what i want to do today it's it looks like it was sunny out but now it doesn't look it's more like overcast and i'm wearing shorts right now and i'm cold in the house so something tells me it's a little chilly outside so i might change my pants but I don't know what to do today. There's not, nothing that I need to do outside. So I might just do some indoor paperwork. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I do know that my food is so good. So um, Yoda gets a lot of nutrition from dandelions. Is that what they're called? The yellow flowers. And so I'm going to collect them because my dad is about to mow the lawn and our yard is basically infested with these flowers everywhere and I look real country because I couldn't find my real boots I'm wearing my winter boots with shorts so I'm real country right now
little country out here. Yeah. Wait, how do you do it? You hear? I don't even know how to say it. Whew. All right. So I grabbed a bunch before I started recording and I gave to Yoda. Grabbed a few more. There's a lot. And this won't be the last time we see them, so they'll grow back again. Nom 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 noms. Oh! Oh my god, can I grab him? Hold on. Don't wait, hold on, hold on, don't go in there yet. Okay, he made it in. I wanna I wanna grab you. Hold on. Oh no, 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 no. Did I get to? I got you! <laughs> he's jumping, he's jumping! Move it, kitty. <laughs> you gotta slow down, my nails are so gross. There we go. Oh, you flipped. No kitty cat, don't hurt him. So as you guys knew, I was building this, my dad and I, so we built it. We built the retaining wall, um, actually last year. And we can't finish it because as you can see, the old wall is pushing out due to this tree. So we have to get that tree out first before we can finish the wall. But that's the wall. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, cat. But we did this this past week. All this, the whole thing. We're still finishing that end. Um, and then we did something over there, which is really nice. So we basically need to get more stone for here. And then we are getting, we put new feed down and seeds for the grass. Man, this cat is just like, <laughs> meow. <laughs> it feels so country with the boots and shorts, like straight up. So this is what we built together. And then we added the st big stones that are basically doing this. And we're going to put little stones inside there. And then we built this as well, all the way down. And we still have to add more stones here too. Woo-wee! But I think I'm going to end the live there, the live, oh my god, the uh, video there, the, the, the YouTube thing. Oh my god, there's three cats here now. We got, where, where, where'd you go? There you are. Blackie over there, that's keyboard. And then when we turn around from Blackie, we have Fat Gay Boy, that's keyboard, my love. And then where are you? Right there, under, that is Mr. Willie and then keyboard again all right anyway i'm going to put down the phone yes i am using my phone because i did a little makeup and did some recordings on my canon oh well i will see you guys next time and have a great tuesday bye